Hello again everybody, Sebastian here with another Watch Our Rooms video. This one is going to be a summoning video. We're going to go in my global account, the pay, the dirty pay to win account. We're going to try to get Kigiri. Okay, here is what happened. I started summoning and then I noticed in my OBS that I did not have the window captured. So I'm going to bring you in and I'm going to tell you, we already got Kigiri into the account, okay? Uh, we got him within the first uh, 40 summons. So he's in the account. We do have him. We still can go chase uh, some more awakenings for him. As you can see here, we had Nocturne pop in. And that's when I noticed the, the error in OBS. So excuse the noobness. I'm still trying to get back into norm and get things rolling again. But we do have some rare crystals here. We can keep going. We can try to see if we can get an awakening for him. So the video is not going to be a total disaster. So we do have them. Uh, so in terms of pity manipulation, there's no reason for me to do it because this is the banner that I'm interested in going for, okay? He is going to be the one that really adds a dimension to any uh, Watcher or Nightmare composition that you have, especially for Samra 2. And you'll be a fun hero to play around when it comes to PBE. There's no question in that. Especially with really long range, uh, he can go ahead and go and strike at a, at a target and then come back he has a chance to also trigger an attack when he returns to his original position so he is definitely an interesting hero i'm more interested because you know he does dispel uh debuff so he can uh give that compliment in terms of some and the samurai bottles to try to remove that and if you give him enough speed i think it'll pretty much that that stack will not even get a chance to build up uh, during the battle so it'll be a lot easier to contend with the the ages mode of samra 17 cost is not that bad for him uh what i was saying about saris too he is going to be in the regular pro and it's not somebody that i really need to push to go get right so this is why i'm not going to worry about pity manip uh, uh, manipulation here with the banner uh he is one of the heroes that i like to consider as a, as a bounce hero uh, he does lose his souls of the dam the longer the battles go on because his ultimate does consume it and it, he doesn't restore them uh, uh, at all during the battle. So the way that, that I would approach him is use him early, give him a couple goals on his ultimate, take him back out and then form your other the, then try to form your composition within that time. Uh, and then you can bring him back in. If the battle is extended one, you can bring him back in and try to finish things off. He has been a menace in Forerunners for AoE Arena. Some people are using him very well for that. First couple of waves, take it out, bring him back out. Now you have the rest of your composition to go. And then you bring him back in for the later rounds if you need to finish things off. So that's exactly how Herix is being used. Now, the other thing is, I don't really need more Awakenings for Rasak and Lucius. And um, if I can avoid that, I'm going to try to do I already have my Lucius at A3. That's fine. That's a perfect kind of balance to stay there. So it is kind of disappointed to put Ceres here with this two, right? Because you have two other 15x heroes into the pool. So this is what I'm saying. I'm just going to wait for Ceres to get his own type of banner like he did in Four Runners before I, I really push to try to get him. But given that he's going to be in the general pool, uh, there's a chance I might pull him here. So no big deal. So we'll continue here. 243. We'll continue to look for uh, maybe one or two awakenings for Kigiri. Because really, his damage output increases severely, significantly when you awaken uh, the hero. Okay, here, come on, come on, don't, don't don't get greedy on me. Just give me another one. Let's turn this blue already. Come on, turn it, turn it, turn it. Be fine, be fine, be fine. Ah, no. Come on. And there is some money. No? Oh, man. All right, so let's, yes, I know. You can put him in there. That's fine. Let's do a little bit of reset. We'll go here and we'll bounce this out. There is the blade. All right, that's it. We're not restarting the game. We just needed to go into the camp. Maybe you need to go talk to uh, a Lily. And no, not, nothing there. Ooh, you're going to push me. You're going to push me to the brink, aren't you? 
You're gonna push me to the brink. Come on, be nice. No. I think we're going to pity, folks. I think we are going to pity. Okay. Bad seed. Bad seed. All right, here we go. Come on. Thought I clicked you. All right, here we go. Ooh, there's some rare crystals there. All right, let's go. Come on. Come on. Ah. Yeah, we're, we're getting close. We're getting close. That's ugly, folks. Come on. This is maniacal, Muntan. This is just maniacal to carry me to pity. All right, come on. Give me an awakening for Kigiri. I would love an awakening for Kigiri. Here we go. And no, it's a Kriya. God dang it. Not her. She's already so stoked. You did me dirty. Okay, come on. Let's go. Come on. We got some a couple more. We got a couple more. Come on. I know you want to. I know you want to. And let's go 10 more. Ah, oh, all right, all right. All right, let me do a little bit of cleanup. Today's video is sponsored by Smile One, the official third party payment platform for Watcher of Realms, where you can obtain a long term 10% discount on all your W Gold purchases. And just in time for the limited hero Kigiri event, there will be a limited time single top up rebate event from October 17 midnight to October 21 midnight UTC minus eight. You will receive additional items for single top up purchases. For example, if you purchase 2,999 W gold, you will get 150 diamonds, one epic skill crystal and one huge stamina pot. Smile one is currently available in the following regions, Russia, the United States, the European Union, Indonesia, Philippines, Taiwan, South Korea, and Hong Kong. I would never encourage you to spend money in the game, as I have shown you with my Forerunners account that this game can be playable without spending. But if you do decide to throw some money into the game, consider using my special link in the description section and topic comment of this video to purchase your double gold, get additional rewards, and in the meantime, support my channel. Thank you to Smile One for sponsoring today's video. Okay, so we did a little bit of cleanup. We got some diamonds back. We got some rare crystals. I did find on, uh, some rare crystals. So let me uh, let me see here. Uh, uh, let go. Let's uh, do the seven here and see if we can do one more. One more yellow, hopefully early, and then we can make a decision on what we want to do. Some people have been really pushing to try to get him to A5 because they're finding out that he is really good at that, uh, getting the third and fifth awakening. There's no question in that. All right. So those are all the rare crystals here. Let me go and we're going to sacrifice to the RNG gods. We'll sacrifice a divine crystal there. And now we're going to go back here and say, okay, come on. Come on. Give me none. Give me one. I know I know that this is probably because you gave them to me early. So now you're going to make me pay some tax. And I understand that's how usually the game goes. Because that's how terrible you all are. Okay, come on. Uh, all right, at least we're getting epics. Come on. Come on. Come on, RNG gods. I didn't piss you off that bad. Come on. I know you cut me a favor early, but I know you, you have it in you. You have it in you to give me one more. Come on. So we're at, I think I'm, I'm getting pretty dipping here. Ah, yeah, this is how it goes sometimes. Come on. Ah, uh, no. And that's it. That's it. Come on. Please let it move again. We already got two other heroes that I did not was not looking for. And there's a searcher. Okay. All right. 
so yeah it's gonna be hard to to get even more awakenings for him uh so that's a bummer in terms of trying to get here the there are more copies of kigiri but you know what we got kigiri into the account he at, at his current awakening i don't think he'll um pass my lost who say two but i'll give him a try i'll give him a whirl I'm, I'm definitely willing to give him a chance i think that one of the primary factors here is his dispel and that i think is what pushes him a little bit on top of uh lost uh for um samurai uh, titanic ruins that's why uh he's going to become um a phenomenal hero for the, for that content so we'll leave it there uh folks uh that's as much i think as i'm, I'm going to push for in this banner now if you did do and go hard on his banner i hope that you got the awakenings that you need to really pop him and maybe progress your account but aside from that i think that for for this this for this purpose this will do it this is fine that's as much as we're going to push for him um and you know, maybe in the future, maybe they bring him back uh, sooner rather than later. Thank you all very much for tuning in and watching. Please do remember to hit like and subscribe on your way out. And I will see you all in the next Watch Our Realms video.